Twitter accepting the Elon Musk purchase of Twitter for him to become the majority shareholder. The reason this is happening is because the threat on freedom of speech has been so significant as it relates to these social media platforms. So, Harry, Elon Musk is not just looking at this as a business opportunity. He's looking at it as a way to increase the ability of the free flow of information in the First Amendment. Twitter uh, has followed a model which is basically uh, pro-left wing in terms of its agenda, and it's basically censored uh, even moderate voices. It feels like the left, the Biden administration, we saw Barack Obama come out and say we need more content moderation. We keep hearing that from the left. Uh, do you feel like they, they just, they've had a moment where our speech has been nearly silenced online, or at least people are afraid to speak online. People left the platforms online, and now they're afraid that a move like this by Elon Musk, suddenly suddenly we're back online sharing our ideas. And, and you know what? Hey, a lot of people agree with us. It shows their real fear. It is that when our voices are heard and they know our arguments resonate with huge portions of the American people, those ideas frighten them. So they resort to censorship. I hope that every social media platform, including Twitter, will let all voices be heard. For the conservative movement to go to the next level, to fight back against the Soroses of the world, the Jeff Bezoses of the world who own uh, the Washington Post. We're going to have to have some billionaires on our side. They may not agree with us on everything, but what they will agree on is allowing our content, allowing us to be treated fairly when sharing our ideas. It'll be up to us to convince people to join our team. And that's fine with me. I'd prefer that. But now it looks like we do have some billionaires stepping up. We've seen Peter Thiel step up in, yep. in, in Republican politics, and we're seeing Elon Musk step up, put his money where his mouth is, on literally, free speech and, on, on free oh, speech. So, so Harry, both, let, by the way, foreign guys coming from countries. You know, Elon Musk left South Africa during apartheid because right. he did not want to be drafted into the all-white military, to oppress, right. as he said, to oppress black people. Right. And, uh, and Peter Thiel, who was a, a German immigrant, his family. Right. So they both understand why it's so important to protect what America is. The reality is... The board controls a lot of the operational basis of the of of the organization. That board is controlled by people that have been loyal to the existing way in which Twitter has been doing business, right? Elon Musk comes in. He is going to work with shareholders to replace that board. How long does it take for them to, for him to take it from today to actually taking it private? And then will he make good on the, the promises as well? Which is, let me tell you, he's going to learn real quickly. There's a bureaucracy there at Twitter, which is going to be just like a government, maybe even more hostile to implementing what he wants to do. So he's got to make sure he's got the power to get rid of the bad apples inside. This fighting for a marketplace of ideas, which used to be the whole idea of freedom of speech and kind of how our country was founded, this idea of robust free speech, speech you disagree with. You handle that with, with speech you agree with and more speech is better. That's how you respond. And that's what these social media platforms were supposed to be, marketplaces of ideas. The censors got in and you shut that down. Uh, we used to call it classic viewpoint discrimination, which is what's going on. You have this huge public, public marketplace that has taken voices from one viewpoint and driven them out. We want all of these voices to be heard. If Elon Musk gets this, I hope he makes sure that every lefty communist socialist voice gets heard, too. Right? right? Bring it. Let's have this debate. Let's have this argument. Let's let all the voices be heard. I think the American people can see the basic things we see with our eyes we know, and this is what they fear, is that we will go into these media and we will speak the truth, and the world will come to see it as the truth, and their ideas will be rejected. And I hope that Twitter begins to permit all the voices to be heard and that every social media platform can see that this is to their benefit and they follow suit as well. We don't have to have a hostile takeover. To get free speech. I think what we could see from this is for the first time, one of the guys on our side when it comes to free speech taking over one of these platforms and having the opportunity to return it to what it's supposed to be about, the free exchange of ideas.